What's going on? In this video, I'm gonna give you three ways that I use to get stable footage with my Sony NEX cameras. Let's get right into it. Sony's NEX cameras have such tiny camera bodies that it's almost impossible to not get little micro jitters when you're trying to record a video just by doing it handheld. So if you hold it like this, you're always just gonna get those little micro jitters, especially on a really long lens. And it just makes your footage look unprofessional and shaky and choppy, and it just doesn't look good. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the three ways that I use to get rid of those micro jitters and to get stable footage with my NEX cameras. These stabilization techniques that I use for my NEX cameras are all low budget and maybe even free. So this isn't gonna break the bank. I'm not gonna tell you to buy a $1,000 item to stabilize your footage. This is gonna be low budget stuff that'll work great for your NEX cameras if you're on a budget. So let's just get right into it. The first way that I use to stabilize my NEX footage is by using something that you probably have with your camera. And if you don't, you can probably pick it up for like $5 on Amazon or something. I'll actually link one down below. But what I'm talking about is a camera strap. And so I'm gonna explain kind of how this will help you out and help get stable footage. So the best way to think about how this will help you stabilize your footage is thinking of holding your camera like a tripod. So a tripod has three legs and obviously all three legs are gonna be always on the ground, always contacting the ground. So when you hold your camera handheld like this with both hands on the camera, that's gonna be essentially like a tripod with two legs. So, you know, this hand right here is gonna stabilize, you know, the, the shakes like this. This one will stabilize the shakes like this. It will control, you know, two axes, but you're still gonna get the up and down and left and right shakes rather than you know, the twist that your hands are gonna kind of stabilize. And so this is almost like using a tripod with two legs. Obviously it's not gonna tip side to side when you have two legs, but it's gonna fall forward or fall backward or something like that because those two legs can only balance certain axes. The rest are just gonna fall on their face. So what this camera strap does is essentially you use both hands still to stabilize, you know, two axes, and then you just put the camera strap around your neck like you normally would, but then you pull tight against the back of your neck. And what that'll do is help stabilize those other axes. You know, by pulling it tight against your neck, it's gonna stabilize the camera with your body, and obviously your body's pretty much always stable for the most part. So it's like all three legs of the tripod, both your hands and then the camera strap. And so this will help you get, you know, really stable panning and tilting and stuff like that, or even when you're walking, it's gonna help you be a lot more stable while recording video. And this is great to use with your Sony NEX cameras because most of them come with a strap or you already have a strap and it doesn't add to the size of these cameras. So, you know, one of the other best parts about these cameras is how small and tiny they are. And adding a camera strap to it, it really doesn't change the size at all and it'll still fit everywhere that it would have without a camera strap in the first place. And so that right there is the cheapest and probably the most common way uh, that I use to save large enough footage with my NEX cameras. It's the fastest way. I mean, it literally takes you just to put the strap around your neck and just pull it tight and you're gonna get stable footage. So I would definitely recommend trying that out if you haven't yet and you're just looking to get that little extra stability out of your footage, uh, especially if you're just standing still but you don't have a tripod or if you wanna make just little movements. Like I said, I'll link a cheap camera strap in the description. Uh, if you don't have one, you just want to pick up a cheap camera strap to get stable footage. Alright, so next up, uh, this is going to be maybe a little bit of a higher budget, but this might still be something that you have in your collection already. And so what I do sometimes is use a monopod. Now, I know what you're thinking, well, of course a monopod is going to give you stable footage. It's literally just sitting in one spot. Actually, I use it in a different way than what it's intended to be used for, and it actually works really well for me most of the time. So let me explain. Uh, first of all, the monopod that I use is the iFootage Cobra 2 carbon fiber monopod. This thing is a beast. Uh, it's honestly one of the favorite tools I have in my filmmaking collection, and I'm gonna link it in the description if you wanna check it out. It is a little bit on the pricier point, but it's a carbon fiber. The build quality is exceptional, and it comes with a mini tripod along with it that you can use separate from the monopod, which is super awesome. So either way, I'm gonna link it in the description if you wanna go check it out. But any monopod will work for this. And so what you're gonna do is use this almost like a steady cam. And so steady cams essentially use weights and balancing to stabilize your footage. What I do with my monopod is attach the camera to the top of it like you normally would, and then I grab it by like the rubberized grip kind of towards the top of it, just a little bit above the balance point of the monopod with the camera attached to it. It. And so I pick it up with just like my index finger, my thumb, to where it can still sway around a little bit and uh, you know, won't be just sturdy like if you're grabbing it tight with both hands. Now what this does at that point is when you walk around, it will keep everything pretty stable, you know, to kind of sway 
and rather than having micro jitters and making really like shaky movements, it'll kind of make more swaying movements. This will give you really stable footage and you can also use it when you're walking around. You just, you know, grab with one hand and maybe just slightly grab with both fingers to be able to move it however you want it. And then you can just take really light footsteps and it's gonna create a lot, lot more stable footage than just holding your camera or even holding it with a camera strap. And obviously you're using a monopod when you do this, so if you need to, you can just set it down and get even more like tripod-like shots. Or if you use the Cobra 2 monopod like I use, it has a tripod on the bottom, so you can literally use it like a tripod, like a monopod, or like a stabilizer. And so this is one of my favorite ways because it's so simple to do. There's no electronics to mess around with. You literally just pick it up, kind of get it balanced, and you just go shoot some video. So this is kind of the middle ground option. You know, it could be a little pricier if you have to buy a monopod, but also it's gonna create really good stable footage. And now, last but not least, this is gonna be the best way and the most stable footage you can get with your NEX camera. And that's of course by using a gimbal. So my go-to choice for gimbals for the NEX cameras is the DJI Ronin SC. So this is kind of a mid-sized gimbal. It's gonna support a pretty big lens on your NEX camera, but it isn't stupid overkill. It, you know, it's not some huge gimbal made for cinema cameras or anything like that. Now this gimbal is like about a year old, I believe, so it's also gonna be pretty prevalent on the used market, which is where I picked mine up. So I got mine for $200 on Facebook Marketplace, which is definitely below the normal used value of it even, uh, but you can find some good deals if you just search on eBay, or if you do have a little bit of a higher budget and you'd rather purchase it new, uh, you can get it on Amazon or something like that, which I will link that in the description as well if you wanna check it out. So like I said, this gimbal's a perfect middle ground. It's not super huge, but it will still hold a decent amount of weight. If you use a larger lens on your camera, or if you put like a micro phone or any other attachments on your camera, this gimbal should be able to support it pretty well. And now this video isn't going to be a tutorial about, you know, how to use the gimbal. There's hundreds of tutorials, probably specifically for the DJI Ronin SC or for whatever gimbal you end up purchasing. Obviously, once you learn how to use a gimbal correctly, you can get some amazing stable footage with it and it's going to look so professional and just so much better than holding your camera handheld. And that pretty much wraps up the three ways that I personally use to get stable footage with my NEX cameras. And these are probably the best ways to do it at each different price point that you have. You know, anywhere from free up to, you know, a couple hundred dollars. And so I really hope these help you out. Uh, they've definitely changed how I use my NEX cameras for video. And so I really hope these helped you out as well. Uh, if they did, go down and drop a like and subscribe to my channel. I pretty much make videos about all sorts of budget filmmaking gear and cameras and lenses, anything of that nature. So if you're into anything like that, definitely stay tuned and subscribe. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.